These are sandstone samples collected from Longyu Caves, China, in September of 2024. And what I want to show you is that this sandstone is pretty amazing. Nothing really particular to show you in this video about this stone compared to the Yangshan Quarry Stone, finding out that it was flint and pretty spectacular, but... I wanted to show you that this, you can see the little sand particles already coming off just from me touching it, right? And Longyu Caves was carved out of this stone. And you can see the white spots. I don't think the white spots are, I mean, I hypothesize they aren't particularly necessary for the creation of Longyu Caves. I read online that these spots are quite common in red sandstone where apparently there's a high amount of iron in sandstone that becomes oxidized through time and creates an iron oxide or the red color and apparently these white spots are spots that did not get oxidized and are also referred to as i read online on the internet as um iron reduction spots where the iron is not actually oxidized and turned red for whatever reason i'm not going to further speculate down that road but you can see it's pretty amazing apparently sandstone is made of predominantly of quartz and apparently has a six to seven a six or seven rating on the Mohs scale of hardness which is actually quite hard i was very surprised because you could see it literally just falling apart into pieces all over my white box <laughs> felt floor so I don't think I'm going to make this video an hour long. I mean, I might, I do have some sandpaper. I am going to sand down some of this sandstone. I'm also going to compare it with other stones. I'm going to make this video a little bit quicker because I mean, because I mean, there's not, I think with the Yangshan quarry stones, finding out that it was black flint and mirror, mirror reflectors was much more particularly interesting, but to see the actual stone, like it's, it does come off a little bit, but not like, it's still like a solid stone, like I can't, can't like bend or bend it or like snap this right, it's not sand, it's like stone, so I am going to sand it down a little bit though, what do I want to do first, I want to also have like a little, a little um, serrated a knife like slash saw blade. I'm going to try to saw through. That might take some time. What I want to do is I want to compare it. I have some Yangshan Quarry stone here that I want to compare it against, right? So this is Yangshan Quarry, right? Totally different type of black flint, like crazy, crazy psychedelic stone, <laughs> right? Check out that other hour long video I made on that for this stuff you're interested to see it and this is this sandstone right i mean google tells me that flint on the left and sandstone on the right are both made of quartz in different ways of formation and they're both similar in the hardness scale which is i mean it's kind of hard to believe i mean because they're both sedimentary quartz formations which is pretty insane both on the east side of china Pretty spectacular and we know that this is not so this is quartz right quartz from from the earth right from the lava from the igneous formation versus like this is sandstone right so you can see it's definitely not quartz like in, in the traditional igneous form and of course we have another form of, fort, of quartz right just a different type different type of quartz right Definitely not. Longyu Caves is not made of quartz, but it contains quartz in the sandstone. And we have Canadian granite, yes. Canadian granite. You can see the mica, the feldspar, the quartz. And I think there's another material I'm forgetting. And you can see that Longyu Caves is definitely not granite, right? This is like what the Egyptian obelisks are made of. This is what the this is a Canadian granite, but it's a similar type of pink granite. Guessing they both contain iron, or, well, the feldspar is what makes it red. I think the granite 
and uh, iron is what makes this red so i believe there's iron in feldspar part of my ignorance so yeah pretty amazing let's try to i don't know let's weigh a piece let's try to weigh a piece Let's weigh, I don't know, let's weigh this little piece, this tiny little piece, it's like 2 centimeters by 0.75 centimeters by 0.5 centimeters. That piece is 2.5 grams. I don't think it has really any informative at all. How about this large piece? This large piece is quite long. Mm -hmm. I can't estimate, I don't know, centimeters? That would be wrong. It's a pretty hefty piece. I don't know. 93.5 grams. So yeah, these are the stones. So what do I want to do here? I want to... Maybe... Try to sand down a piece. Let's try to sand down one piece a little bit. Just get it started, right? Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna start with 600 because I mean it is sandstone. It's probably gonna sand quite quickly, honestly. I'm gonna sand it all off of the not in the light box because then my light box will never be light again. <laughs> Yeah, I, um, I mean, it is sanding. I have, like, a black sandpaper, which is kind of coloring the stone. But you can see it's definitely not mirror black, I can tell you that. It's definitely not mirror. But, I mean, again, I think, I mean, I'm just speculating, but I don't think they made... Long you caves, I mean, you, they may have because of the specific stone, but I mean, I think they might have just done it just because they were able to in the stone, not for a particular use, but let's see. Oh wow, 180 grit is really cutting it down like quickly really quickly that's what i mean so it's like that was like seconds so i mean and like look how much it already came off it just like so i mean i could totally maybe see i don't know a machine doing this or something i mean yang shan Kori looks like a human's I mean, I'm, I, I try to avoid speculating, but based on my observations, it looks like humans probably may have made the Yangshan Kori just by chisels. Just because of the, like, the lines, they look much more like hand chisel made. Like kind of just hacking away at the flint, where along your caves you see these like really, um, what's the word, the same size and distance carvings into the wall that go for like over 10 feet like horizontal and then vertical and like a smooth curve and then horizontal again and it's like it's like why would unless it's like sort of some crazy artistic like the effort in creating that artistic lines it just doesn't make any sense and that's one of the reasons why i think it long UKs may have been made by a machine i mean of some sort. I mean, I can only, I'm not going to speculate what it was, but I mean, just the, the uniformitarity of the, of the, of the cuts into the walls, especially the ceiling, especially the pillars. Cause the pillars, like, like they're just not cleaned up around the, the edges. It's, and, and it's, if, if they're putting that much effort into, say someone was supposedly carved out by hand, they would put so much effort into these huge, like super long, over ten feet long, 
uh, lines in the wall, but they won't clean up the pillars. It looks like just a machine was just taken off at the end of the pillar, and it looks like ununiform where the where the the machine lines uh, overlap, and it's like it's all uniform until you overlap the machine lines, and then there's like a, a break, and it's like, well, it looks like a machine definitely did it. I mean. That's what it seems like to me and i mean me sanding this down so fast like this is crazy this is so fast like this is like freaking like gone so freaking fast like i don't want to keep doing this because i'm gonna lose my sample of all of my, of my stones <laughs> right like this is crazy this is so freaking fast so i mean i don't know if the hardness is seven i'm gonna I don't know, right? Like, I know flint is, and quartz is really, um, brittle. Just the sanding way like crazy. It's so easy to sand it down. It's way easier than the flint. Alright. Yeah, pretty insane. So what I want to do is I want to take my knife and see if I can like cut this piece. At least start sawing into it and see how quickly it is. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 rows. That was 20 passes. Not like a to and from. Of of this, I'll show you. This is the knife I used. This is the knife I used. Bros and sisses. Sisters and brothers and all everyone all types all around the world Non-binary everyone in the world Look at this 20 Passes I Totally think like a machine made I think a machine made it look at this 20 passes like super light I could totally see it even like a foot pedal rotary machine or something right not even the same like high technology right just a fucking like a bicycle, you know what I mean? It's a fucking, and that would make sense how they built it going down into those crazy caverns, right? Just building down, like ex excavating downward. Look at that, like bros and sisters and everyone. Look at that, that's crazy. What the fuck, man? Wow, that's cool. Yeah, this cuts so easily too, like, holy jeez. Like, this is wild. Oh, and it's, it's like, it's like brittle too. It like, so I'm like, look at this, like I'm already like sawing through it. It's pretty insane. And look, this little piece broke off right here. See that? Pretty wild, eh? So, I'm just gonna keep doing this a little bit more. I'm not gonna cut through. I mean, I could cut through. I mean, I might as well to say that we did, right? Uh, maybe. Oh man, I mean, we could. We might as well for the video or not. Oops. Alright, I got some dust. Hold on. I gotta I got clean off this dust. I'll be back. I'll be back any second. I got too much dust. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna saw through this just really quickly. Just like a proof of concept, right? Wow, that took like no fucking time. It also snapped off though. But I mean, like, that took literally no time, no effort. So it's like an unexposed rock inside there. It's never been exposed to the world. Pretty amazing, eh? So based on that, I mean, it's definitely not a scientific experiment. It's definitely not a fucking scientific about this but you can I after this and seeing how easy it is to like cut and sand the stone 
I'm even, I'm leaning more towards some sort of crazy, weird, like, bicycle, like, some sort of rotary machine, either like a bicycle, even foot-powered, I'm not saying high technology, just, just some other type of design, like, this was way too easy. Like, I'm sure maybe we might even be able to uh, try to make a cave of our own, right? Like, why not? Look how easy that was. Okay, so thank you. I'm going to keep this video short. Maybe a nice 15 minute or video. I think I said everything I wanted to say. I don't need to, like, I've shown you every piece. I'll show you some more of this white stuff up close. But yeah, pretty rocking stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Long you caves, pretty amazing. Pretty different from this is Yangshan Cory, right? Very different. Oh, let's get some thumbnails. We need some thumbnails. Yes, we do. So we need we need some thumbnails for the video. Yes, we do. Oh, maybe the cut piece. Where's that cut piece? Where did I put it? Here we go. Anyways, Long UK, baby. Pretty amazing place. Go if you can. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Be real.